Hi dolls! Besides the 20s, the 40s are by far my favorite era if it comes to fashion and makeup. Oh god, and the hairstyle! Lately, I've been rocking the pinup look because it's my absolutely favorite go to makeup look and it's actually so simple. Pinup looks are easy to recognize because of the bold red lips, the bold brows, and the winged eyeliner. So, starting with priming my face, and then I go right in with covering up any dark circles or impurities. Pinup dolls always have a flawless complexion, so make sure to cover up everything properly. In this case, for a good coverage, I like to use camouflage. Camouflage has about 90% of coverage. It's also used to cover up any tattoos, so imagine the coverage. Did you know that contouring comes from black and white pictures? Basically you contour your face to give the face a nice contrast and so your face shape wouldn't disappear in the picture. Technically you could also use a lighter foundation and a darker foundation instead of a highlighter and a bronzer. Not sure why but I made it a habit to apply highlighter and bronzer before my foundation. Basically, if you want a more natural look, you contour and highlight and cover up before foundation. But if you are going for a really dramatic look, you can totally do that after applying the foundation. After applying my foundation, I set everything with my powder. Reshape your brows by using a brow pencil. I like using a brow pencil for a more dramatic look. Since I'm not really into cutting my brows, I'm using this brow mascara to set all those flyaways. I always prime my eyes before applying any eyeshadows. Take a matte deep brown eyeshadow and apply it right on the crease to create an illusion of a deep crease. Just blend it in properly. With another matte brown shadow, which is slightly lighter than the dark brown, I reapply it on my crease, creating a softer look. With a deep white matte shadow, I'm applying it on my brow bone and on my entire eyelid. Here I'm using the brown from before and just blending in harsh lines. I reapply on the deep white, an extra white shadow. Make sure to create an even line between those two eyeshadows. Also apply the lighter brown on the outer corner of your lower lash line. Not sure why, but I'm having so much troubles in applying fake lashes, so this took me about 10 minutes. I had to apply it twice and it still didn't came out like I wanted to but in the end I gave in I don't know if it is because of the lash glue because I'm not really satisfied with it let's move on to the winged eyeliner so the pinup look is famous for it for its winged eyeliner so you need to practice this because it's not easy but it is doable mailable what it is doable no how do you say that? I don't know. I highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I apply a white highlighter on the waterline. And I tight line my eyes. Apply mascara on lower and upper lashes. And actually, if you wear fake lashes, that's the moment when you realize that you glued your lashes correctly. Off to blush. I'm using this really beautiful pink blush which matches my hair color so well. And apply it on the apple of my cheek. And stop right before the hairline because I have a... I have an oblonged face and with oblonged face you should not be reaching the hairline. In the meantime I already started to highlight my face and I love using this Etude Height 
this Etude Height. This Etude House highlighter because it gives my skin such a nice glow. For the last touch, I'm adding a bit of contour again just to give everything a nice finished touch. On to the lips, to the lips, to the lips. Yahoo! Your lips are moving, your lips are moving when you la la la, baby. Well, anyways, I am contouring my lips because that's what I need to do. And also making them fuller. Forgive my sin. That's what I'm going to wear today on my lips. For the finished touch, I just correct or overdraw with the lip liner again. For my outfit, I'm wearing this white and red tank top and oh, it's funny about that skirt. I think my mom didn't fit that dress so she gave it to me, but I never actually really wore it until I found it again hidden somewhere in my closet and I was just like, OMG, this dress is amazing. So give this video and my hair a big thumbs up and see you all in my next video. Bye bye. What's up everybody? I'm back with a new night makeup and tutorial, one, one of the most popular anime characters with so I lost my footage for the skin preparation, so 